how to do it, this way or another. How would it stand if I behaved like a rustic fool? What is the cure for this all-consuming longing to return to nature? May the mists and sunsets be my dwelling place, the winds and moon my only companions. In a peaceful era, under benevolent rule, I find consolation from the ailments of age. All I ask from life is freedom from shame. It is said that benevolent ways have passed. Truly, it is a lie. It is said that human nature is decent, an undeniable truth. How, then, can so many prodigies under heaven be deceived? Shaded orchids in the valley, natural virtue of their subtle scent. White clouds caress the mountain sides, a joyful balm to the sight. In the midst of these things, one more beautiful reigns in my heart. In front of the mountain there is a small lookout. Under it there is a river, untainted, a flock of seagulls gliding to and fro. Why is the wise man's white pony drawn to a distant place? The spring breeze disturbs the flowers that coat the mountains. The autumn moon envelops the lookout, immersing oneself in the glad recurrence of the four seasons. Is there restraint for the flying fishes and soaring kites under cloud shadow or vibrant sky? Wandering around the sky-cloud lookout, the library of delight appears pristine. Life with ten thousand books provides pleasure without end. Why even give voice to contentment with the peripatetic life? Although the storm breaks upon the mountain, the deaf cannot hear it. Although the white sun reaches its zenith, it is unseen by the blind. As men with hearing and sight, we harness our awareness. No men of yesteryear have seen me, nor I them. Although I cannot see them, I know the way they trod. With this path drawing me on, how could I deviate from it? So many lost years, the way I once trod, but then abandoned. For what have I roamed, only to return this late? Rejoining this faithful path, I resolve to avoid distractions. How does the blue mountain forever retain its hue? How does the flowing stream course ceaselessly day and night? Let us forever imitate them changeless pines for all generations. Even the foolish man believes he understands. Isn't it easy? Yet the sage knows his limitations. Isn't it difficult? Whether simple or onerous, I yearn in my learning to be heedless of time.